the fruit of the Holy Spirit is all you need in a marriage. So if you are genuinely spiritual, there will be no anger, you will not be self-centered, there will be peace, and all those fruits, we know them. Those are the things we need in marriage. I, I mean, I'm a Christian, I've been born again for a lot of years. I'm a church boy, but I do know that these fruits don't just get there because you're born again. Ross, a couple of times, this is my wife, She's my very good friend. As a matter of fact, we've been friends before we got married. I, I knew my wife from, from university days. We, we went to the same first degree, second degree at London University. We started the same course. So we've known each other for quite a while. We are young and married. But I know a number of times where we disagree on issues. And, and I get angry. But then she comes to me and you tell yourself you're a Christian. The Holy Spirit helps you to deal with those weaknesses. That you're born again doesn't mean you don't have those weaknesses. But the ability to trust the Holy Spirit to deal with these things, particularly with respect to your marriage, you know, is what you're talking about. But well, that's why I said he's in marriage. By the time he gets into it, you will know that all these things, the, the woman has all done something that will make you laugh. Yeah. You know, so I feel that this, this platform is. I understand what this platform is. I mean, that's why I follow it. You just have to be practical. You just have to let people know that there are issues that you must deal with. And you don't deal with them by theoretical. These things are not written in books.